Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be another one of my Disney series and it is going to be all about my Disney story. Before we get into this video I want to quickly say yes my lighting is not great right now. I abruptly had to move home because of the coronavirus as well as other reasons. So I am still trying to figure out how I am going to film while I am here at my parents house and I would have to figure out that setup very quickly because I wasn't supposed to move home until the end of April and it is the middle of March. So I have six weeks worth of filming to do here. I'm gonna have to figure it out quite quickly. Like that. Like I don't know what I don't know what's happening here. But let's just go right into this video so growing up I was raised on Disney I was absolutely enthralled with Disney since I was born I remember my grandma and grandpa's house always had the VHS Snow White movie so whenever I was at my grandma's house my grandma and grandpa's house I would always always watch that Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs movie there my mom ran a home daycare when I was growing up until I was 12, so we all watched many, many Disney movies growing up with all the daycare kids. And when I was 10, I believe, I believe I was 10, we went to Disney World on a 10 day vacation with my family. I was so thrilled to be going to Disney World. This was our one big family trip, um, our first big family trip, I should say. Um, so we went for 10 days when I was 10 and then we went back for one day when I was 15. We were in, where were we? Maybe we were in Orlando. We were somewhere in Florida for my mom's work meetings and so we took a day trip to one of the parks and then when I was 17 I went on another 10 day vacation to Disneyland, so the one in California and that was with a youth group that one was actually very fun i have a whole picture board over here of that trip but so i've been to the parks technically three times in my life um i'm very very excited to be working there this summer it is crazy that growing up a little girl always imagining being a princess always imagining a disney life always being so enthralled with disney to actually becoming an employee it is going to be such a great summer hopefully covid19 does not ruin that for me but i am very very excited for this um experience i'm very very excited to be working for the walt disney company my um disney process of how this whole program came about for me was actually finding out about the program I have been in love with Disney since I was born, like I mentioned. However, I didn't know that I was able to work there. I had always just figured that it was for United States residents or um, wherever the Disney park was. For me, I always wanted to work at Disney World or Disneyland, so the ones in the States. And I always just thought you had to be a United States resident, so I never actually looked into it. One day, I was going down a YouTube rabbit hole. I believe it was March or April of 2019. And I came across a video that said, and it was titled, How I Got Termed from Disney World. Now I was confused because I wasn't familiar with the word termed. If you're confused, termed means fired. So I immediately watched the video. I was like, well, this is crazy. Like, how do you get fired from the happiest place on earth? And so I watched the video and I found out that she was on a college program, which is the States, it's called Disney College Program for university students in the States to take a semester and work at Disney World. Um, so I immediately started researching how a Canadian can do that program in a Canadian university. And it is a little bit different, actually quite a bit different, um, but I came across the Disney Cultural Exchange Program, which is what I will be participating in this summer. Um, and basically I did all my research all summer. Like I said, I found out about it in probably March or April of 2019 applications didn't open till September 2019 so I had months of research and I did my research I also came across the cultural representation program which is what people do in Epcot they work in the pavilion for their country so I also applied to that program but I did get an interview for the exchange program which is the equivalent of the Disney college program but for people in a different country instead of working for a semester you work through your summer break so I'm in university, my summer break starts at the 
ends of April and goes to the beginning of September. So my program is the beginning of May to the beginning of August. Um, and that's how I found out about the program was seriously through YouTube. I had never heard of anything about it before I came across that one video. I will try to put a clip of that video in to give that person credit for showing me what the college program was, but it was a YouTube video that actually showed me what the college program was and then it led me to the cultural exchange program. The next part of this video is going to be about the application process that I went through to get on the cultural exchange program. It all started back in September of 2019 when the applications opened about mid-September. Um, I applied, I heard nothing, and I heard nothing, and I heard nothing for a long, long time. And then January came around, I believe it was the beginning of January, we got our interview requests, which I was a little bit shocked because we completely passed, um, it's a five step process. It's the application, application received, online interview, in person interview, accepted. So I applied in mid September, I got my, um, application received that day like two hours later um, we completely skipped the online interview I did not participate in that I believe I've only heard of two or three people that applied to do the summer college program um, that actually did have to do that this past this past year so I don't know if that's just something that they skipped over this year because it was quite different from what the alumni are saying um, but I didn't do that so Maybe you guys won't, maybe you guys will have to do it, I'm not sure. Um, and then interview request came out in beginning to mid-January and the interview was the end of January. And then accepted or denied came in mid-February. So we're sitting at mid-March right now. My program starts the beginning of May. It was a long, long process. Like I said, I applied in September and I didn't hear anything until January. Um, it was a long, long process, but I'm so, so happy with the outcome. I got accepted to participate in the cultural exchange program from Canada in the role of merchandise. I'm so, so excited to be working for the Walt Disney Company this summer. Um, hopefully COVID-19 doesn't ruin that, I think I've mentioned, but I am so excited to help get the parks up and running after this COVID-19 crisis. Yeah, I'm very, very excited for the parks to reopen. I'm very excited for this whole crisis to be over, as I'm sure everybody is. So with that being said, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please subscribe so you never miss a video. Every Monday is a Disney-themed video. And I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!